Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube video lecture series of the subject Basic Electrical Engineering. Myself, Pankir sir, and you are seeing the chapter DC circuits. So today's topic is Time Domain Analysis of RL-DC circuits, First Order RL-DC circuits. So in previous videos, we have analyzed the RC First Order circuit. Now in this video, we have to analyze the RL-DC circuit. So basically, current does not increase whenever we are connecting any power supply to any circuit. It takes some time. Especially in the presence of inductor, current cannot be increased directly, suddenly it takes some time. And this delay is because of the presence of inductor in that circuit. So the growth of current is somewhat delayed. So, in this video, we have to see that if we want to find the current I, but if current is changing with respect to time or you can say with the rate of di by dt, then we have to find the equation of current with respect to time. So, we can get that at this time, how much of current is increased or how much of current is decreased. So, uh, due to this change in current, some EMF will also be induced in that circuit. And due to this EMF is the core reason of opposition of this growth of current. So to understand this, let's consider one circuit here. This circuit is known as the RL circuit. And you can see in this circuit that there is one inductor and one resistor is connected in series with this inductor and this series combination is supplied via battery voltage source V. This is a DC voltage source V. Now there is one switch. This switch can be connected to terminal 1 and this switch can be connected to terminal B. So if this switch is connected to terminal 1 then this supply voltage V is directly applied to this series combination R. Now if this supply voltage is connected to this resistance and inductor, then it forms a closed path. So current will start flowing through this circuit. Initially, inductor does not allow to pass the total current, but it takes some time. So we need to find the equation of that delay in current. So now let's see how this current is increased. So let's apply KVL to this circuit, this closed path. So in KVL, we have to do is applied voltage V is equals to the addition of the voltage across resistor plus voltage across the inductor. So V is equals to VR plus VL. But we know that VR is the voltage of resistance that is nothing but IR and VL is the voltage across inductor and we have equation of that self-induced EMF is L dy by D. So we got equation as V is equals to IR plus L dy by DT. Our aim is to find the equation of current on. So now this is also a first order equation. So let's take IR on LHS. So it will be V minus IR is equals to L dy by DT. Now let's use the variable separable matter. DI should be on one side and DT should be on another side. And all the terms related to DI and DT should be on that side only. So it will be di upon v minus ir is equals to 1 upon l into d. Let's multiply both sides of this equation by minus r. So we have multiplied both sides of this equation by minus r and we have integrated this equation as in integration it will be minus r upon v minus ir into di and is equals to minus r upon l into dt. We have to integrate this equation with i and we have to integrate this side equation with time t. So the answer of the integration will be log v minus i r upon minus r will be that. But we have multiplied with minus r so minus r minus r will be cancelled out. So it will be log v minus i r on t is equals to here integration of 1 with respect to time is t. Okay, so it will be minus r by l into t plus c where c is known as the constant of integration. If you want to find the value of c, then you have to use the initial condition. And the initial condition is when time was zero, current was zero. Inductor has not passed any current through it, but inductor has allowed the current increment in current gradually. So at time t is equals to zero, i is equal 
equals to 0. Let's put this value in this equation and it will be log v is equals to 0 plus c. So basically we got the value of c as log v. Now let's put the value of c in this equation that it will be log v minus i r is equals to minus r by l into t plus log v. Now let's take both the log on one side that it will be log v minus i r minus log v is equals to minus r by l into t. If two log are in subtraction then it can be in division. So it will be log v minus i r upon v is equals to minus r by l into t. So if we want to find the equation of current i then we have to remove this log. So if you want to remove the log from LHS then RHS should be in exponential form. So it will be v minus i r upon v is equals to e raised to minus r by l into now, v minus i r is equals to v into e raised to minus r by l into t. If you want to find i r, then you can uh, take this uh, term on LHS and you can take this term on RHS. So, it will be i is equals to v, i r is equals to v in bracket 1 minus e raised to minus r by l into t. So, if you want to find i, then it will be v by r in bracket it is 1 minus e raised to minus r by l into t, where l by r is known as the time constant of this circuit. So, it will be minus t upon lambda 1. And we know that v by r is nothing but the maximum value of current. So, it will be i is equals to i m in bracket e raised to 1 minus e raised to minus t upon so this is known as the equation of rise in current through a vector. It is not increasing directly, but it is function of time. We can say that. So if time is 0 and if we put t is equals to 0 in that equation, so it will be i is equals to i m in bracket 1 minus e raised to 0. So it will give the answer as 1 minus 1 and it is 0. So we have proved that at time t is equals to 0, no current was started through that inductor. But if we put time t is equals to lambda, then we got this equation as i is equals to i m in bracket 1 minus e raised to minus 1 because lambda lambda has been cancelled. But if we put the value of e in that equation as 2.718 raised to minus 1, then we got the equation of current as 0 0.632 times the maximum current. So we can say that at time t is equals to lambda, 63 percentage of the maximum current has been achieved. Now, if we want to draw the characteristics of the rising current, then we have to draw the time versus current and at zero time current was zero and after some time current is increased gradually in exponential manner and after some time is it's reaching its maximum value i m t and at some time t is equals to lambda current is reaching is 63 percentage of the total value so time constant can be defined as it is the time taken by the circuit or an inductor to increase or to rise the current flowing through it by 63 percentage of its maximum. Now, let's see the decay in current. Once the current has uh, started increasing and after some time current flowing through the inductor is maximum and if we change the position of switch from 1 to 2, so now inductor is having the maximum current at this condition. But inductor will start decreasing that current flowing through it because of the property of inductor. So that current is decreased by the connected resistor in this part. So the maximum current will be at the starting time in this condition. So the initial condition is when t is equals to 0, current going through this particular case is maximum and it is i m, that is v upon r. So whenever we are putting our switch at two position, so current will not directly decrease and goes to 0, but it will decrease gradually and after some time it reaches its 0 value. So let's say that if switch is connected at terminal 2 and if we apply KVL in this condition then it will be 0 is equals to resistor voltage plus inductor voltage. Resistor voltage is nothing but IR and inductor voltage is nothing but L divided by D. So if we take IR on LHS then it will be minus IR is equals to L divided by D. If you want to find the value of current I, then you have to variable separable method, then it will be VI upon I is equals to 
minus r upon f into d. If we integrate that term, then the integration of that term will be di upon i is equals to in integration minus r by l into d. So, 1 upon i into di will give you log i is equals to minus r by l and 1 with respect to dt will be t and plus k, where k is known as the constant of this circuit and k can be obtained by using the initial condition concept and thus that concept is nothing but when time was zero, current flowing through this circuit is maximum that is i. So, if we are putting this initial condition in this equation, then it will be log im is equals to 0 plus k. So, let us put the value of k is equals to log im in equation number 1. So, it will be log i is equals to minus r by l into t plus log im. If we bring both the log on one side, then it will be log i minus log im is equals to minus r by l into t. So, it will be log i upon im is equals to minus r by l into t. If you want to find the equation of current, then you have to remove the log. So, it will be i upon im is equals to e raised to minus r by l upon t. So, i is equals to im into e raised to minus r by l upon t, where we know that L upon R is known as the time constant lambda. So, it will be I is equals to I m e raised to minus T upon lambda. So, this equation tells us that the decay in current is also the function of time. So, current will not directly decrease and goes to its zero value, but it decreases gradually in exponential manner. If we put T is equals to lambda in this equation, then we got the answer as I is equals to I m into E raised to minus T upon lambda. So, lambda lambda can be cancelled out. So, it will be E raised to minus 1 and it will be 0 0.368 into I m. So, we can say that the time constant is nothing but the function of time. Now, let us see one example related to this RL circuit. Here, a coil having resistance 20 ohm and inductance of 12 Henry is connected to a constant supply voltage of 100 volt. So, find the rate of change of current at instant of switch is closed uh, by what rate the current will increase through this circuit, final steady state current, time constant and time taken for the current to reach its value of 4 amp. So, let us find one value. So, the rate of change of current di by dt can be obtained by this formula that is V upon L. So, V is 100 and L is 20. So, it will be 5 ampere per second. Now, let us find the value of steady state current. So, it will be V upon R. So, it will be 100 upon 20 that is 5 ampere. Time constant is find by this formula lambda is equals to L upon R and L upon R is having the value as 12 by 20. So, it will be 0.67. So, thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned.